In this grudge between DWI and FMJ, it all began when Full Metal Jacket injured one of DWI's friends in freaking flaps. Just one week after, alongside Epo, saving freaking Flax from further injury at the hands of Full Metal Jacket, DWI would once again make the save, this time for the newcomer team, Crash Course. After successfully defending the team titles for the second straight week, FMJ declared that there were no teams left to face. DWI would answer the call. Well, well kind of three. There were new, maybe like one and a half, two. More teams in WAW. There is nobody we have beat. And there's nobody left to fight. No. Wonder when trouble getting those for me. Okay, hold on. You guys may have drunk through the open challenge. Yes, I'm sorry. You drank through the open challenge. You won't get your chance to. I'm getting it again. We missed the open challenge. It's very hold convenient on. that they do it after me and Shaq so bad they can have our matches. However, you are just in time for me to announce the challengers to the team titles at Apocalypse. Wait, what? What team? You know, you know. Does it, is it gonna matter? I mean, let's be honest. You're gonna lose. Well, I mean, no drinking contest, obviously, but. Because we beat you in that, too! After being allowed to choose the stipulations on August 18th, FMJ would announce the stipulations. Oh, really? You're gonna beat us now? I think we're gonna beat you. Never! Now, shut up! In more than one fall. We're beating you two out of three. We're taking the first kill. How could anyone pop? How, how could somebody do that to him? I mean, everybody loves him. Probably get him to the hospital. As as a female, what should I get him? Should I get him a dozen roses or Scott, a thing of chocolate or? I don't want to seem insensitive here, but we're gonna lose our main event. 
I am swear that I will not let that happen. You know how uh, how I talked about beating myself up, uh, you know, annihilation. Well, I think tonight's the night, Star. Tonight it will be Skylar versus Phoenix. And you know what? <laughs> I'll even put my title on the line. I can think of at least two reasons why I would hate to see that match. <sighs> Uh, you see here, Moody Star, uh, I noticed you're in a little bit of a uh, conundrum, so to speak. Uh, your number one contender, uh, Mr. Christian Sane, is uh, laid out in the back. Uh, he's not responding, I guess, for so I hear. Um, and I'm here as the Annihilation Champion because I survived. Uh, we'll see. Uh, to offer you a little, um, I don't know, uh, salvation. What do you want? What do I want? Oh, well, it's uh, very simple. Uh, Miss Star, I will uh, save your show tonight. I'm going to take my floating title shot in the main event tonight. Ooh. You are not the Annihilation Champion. I'm not the Annihilation Champion? Uh, yes, I am, honey. I'm better. I'm the Doomsday Champion. And I actually have a uh, belt, the NLP Champion. I know, I really hate to see that. What the fact? <clears throat> Are you two or something seriously? No, but I've been having sex for a lot longer than you have. Really, the virgin thing is getting kind of old, okay? Would you like now, me to bring up the side boobs? No! Now, as I was saying, I'm here to make a deal. Deal! Uh, deal! I forgot my suitcase at home! Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I have someone at the call and we'll do it. We'll wait. Okay. For Christ's sake, this is not Thank all you. fun and games, Skylar Phoenix, okay? Will you let me talk? Go God. on, go on. Okay, here to make a deal. I'll take my floating title shot in the main event tonight against Skylar Phoenix for the WWE Championship. But I want all the rules and privileges of the Annihilation Champion. I want that pure wrestling match that Sane was advertised in. You know, boy, I'd, I'd really like to do that, but I Sane never passed on any paperwork. I don't really know what a pure wrestling match is. I don't really know what those Oh, uh, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, you see this piece of paper? Just in case you can't read. Pure wrestling match! So wow. I'm right here. Wow, okay. wow, isn't that fucking convenient? Sane's laid out, you happen to be A-OK, -okay, and uh, happen to have the stipulations for the match that me and him were supposed to have? Uh, okay. You know, I, I'm, a, I like, like, I'm a big fan of board games, and if we were to play Clue, I'd say Todd Sopel in the locker room with the side boob! Side boob again! Right there! Okay, first of all, Sky, you're ignorant, because this was found next to my locker, okay? I have no idea who put it there or not. I guess they must have dropped it. I don't know what's going on, okay? But the fact of the matter is, I'd say if anybody uh, has any modem here to take out Sane, it would be uh, you. Me, me. I've been trying to get him forever. And, you know, <laughs> you're a fucking jackass. Because when I wanted to get him, I could have taken him out so many freaking times backstage. But I didn't because I wanted to get him in the ring. And all he did was keep running around and sending little freaking pansy pussy chumps to try and get the job done. And you know what? It just looks like you're going to be another name that I can add to the list. Oh, yeah, that list. Uh, let's go over it. Let's see. There was uh, Staples, who you beat with uh, happy assistance of that scumbag crowd up there. Uh, let's see, who else? There was uh, Paul Clement, who gets blown up during his ring entrance. And I would know... Uh, let's see, there's, uh, Sage. <laughs> yeah, you, you have to agree with me on that one. And, uh, oh yeah, let's all forget, uh, last year, Apocalypse. Absolute victory. But you know what? I'm not here to dwell oh, on that. No, 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 absolute victory, continue, continue. What happened? I ended your streak! I proved that I'm better than you! Oh. I proved that Skylar Phoenix is the equalizer! To the unequalizer. Okay, first of all, Phoenix, okay? The pinfall? I have narcolepsy, okay? It, it acts up on strange times. You know, it just acted up right there. I stayed, it just happened to be after that sky flow. I fell, I blacked out. All of a sudden, one, two, three. I would have kicked out if I was weak. And oh yeah, there's that uh, tapping on the thumbtacks. That's a nerve thing, okay? That's a nerve twitch. I've had it since I was five years old. But the fact of the matter is, I'm not here to make excuses. Tonight, Skylar Phoenix, it's me and you. Pure wrestling. Tonight, Skylar Phoenix, you go one-on-one. -on -one with the NLP champion, the Doomsday champion, the next WAW champion, and the unequal one. And tonight, 
you face the WAW champion, two-time legacy winner, two years in a row. And you know what? <clears throat> Bring the title. Nate Todd, have mercy on Tonight, FMJ, DWI is going to take those titles from you, and we're going to get you back for all the shit that you gave us. Tonight is our shine. What do we got? What do we I'll got? I'll tell you what I got, baby. I got this warm-up beer, baby. Go ahead. Crack me open a warm-up beer. Cause I'll tell you what we came here to do. To me, this ain't about no team time, baby. Let's start off with your buddy little hatchet, whatever his name is, hurt my buddy freaking blacks. That didn't need to happen. Then you willing to go a little too far, hurting all our friends. Oh. FMJ, you've run away from us for long enough. You've been whole boat goddamn dang on tag team down long enough. You ain't got enough camouflage in the world for you to hide from us tonight, boy. This is DWI's. His story rides to the top, baby. Tell him, tell him, Sasso, old bear again. Drink that beer, boy, don't let it get warm. Two yeah. out of three falls. I'm sorry, let me go. Two out of three falls. Two out of three falls ain't nothing, baby. We can beat you four out of six falls. We can beat you nine falls. We can beat your balls. We'll do anything we gotta do to whoop your ass. That's all this is gonna be. I'm a rooting for the fans watching at home. It ain't gonna be no class of wrestling match, no. This is gonna be DWI whooping FMJ's ass all day, all night long. There ain't gonna be no time for no other matches. When the three balls are done, we're gonna whoop your ass again. Excuse me. That was good. That was really good. He just said everything I just wanted to say. So you know what? You know what FMJ's messing with? They're messing with D. W. I. That's right. It ends tonight. The best of three falls tag team match. And it's for the WAW Team Championship. Yeah! In three first, Chef Sabanigan and Troy Garbro. Here we go, it's team championship time, ladies and gentlemen. The number one contenders, here they come. Chateau Bannigan and Troy Garbo, DWI, looking to walk out with the gold here tonight in Apocalypse. Last year in Apocalypse, they failed to become number one contenders when they battled Total Chaos, looking to turn those fortunes around this year by walking out with the WAW Team Championship here in Apocalypse. Can DWI get it done? We will find out very soon as the WAW Team Championship best two out of three falls is about to get underway as DWI parties it up here at Apocalypse. Come the WAW Team Champions Full Metal Jacket to battle DWI, a team that looks to be sober tonight. I mean, call me crazy, but they almost look close to sober tonight. They're taking this one very seriously, but FMJ clearly is not. They've got pillows with them. I guess illustrating that they're preparing to take a nap through this match, or that this is gonna be the easiest title defense of their reign, I don't know. They've said time and time again that DWI will be the easiest title defense of their reign. And they are clearly not taking DWI very seriously and that can be a mistake. You take these drunks lightly, they will surprise you. And if FMJ takes the uh, DWI lightly, we could see new WAW team champions here at Apocalypse.
look at FMJ with their fancy little spray water bottles. Aren't they fancy? Stalling the start of this contest here. Troy Garbo full of his usual energy. This one is best two out of three falls, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna score two falls to walk out the WAW team champions. Who's gonna start for DWI and who's gonna start for FMJ? We got rock, paper, scissors. And it looks like Chateau Banigan won the war there. And O'Banigan's going to start with Marinci. And this one's underway for the WAW Team Championship. And speaking of championships, while well, this one gets underway, I guess now we're going to see Todd Sobel wrestle for a second time tonight in our main event for the WAW Championship against Skylar Phoenix. Apparently Christian Zane is going to be taken to a local hospital after being attacked backstage. And while you, you got your arguments for Skylar Phoenix, you got your arguments for Todd Sopel, who mysteriously had Christian Saints rules for a pure wrestling match. But either way, we're gonna see Skylar Phoenix and Todd Sopel in a pure wrestling match. Right now, we got a do -si do Miss close line by FMJ. Double noggin knocker by DWI. Shatter hammering away on Major Morpheus Morenzi while Troy Garbo goes to town on Captain Vincent Dorello. What do we got here? High fives at the Bulldogs! DWI in firm control here. Captain Vincent Dorello sent packing out to the floor by Troy Garbo. Slamming Dorello's head right into the ring apron. Obanigan made a mistake there. He should have gone right after Morenzi. Now Morenzi is able to even mount an attack on Shatter. Shatter, instead of paying attention on the floor, should have gone to the attack. And instead, Morenzi's even being given the opportunity to mount an attack here. Close line missed by Morenzi, and he crashes right into the ropes. Shatter calling for him to charge. What do we got here? Reflector! Wait a second! They're gonna cover! We're gonna count! DWI takes the first fall! Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, DWI is taking the first fall, and they are up one to enough, one to nothing after Shatter pins Major Morpheus Parenzi following a reflector. Bring that son of a bitch right in that hand. I'll deal with you later. You want? Zarello now coming in for the start of the second fall, as is Troy Carbo. Boot to the midsection by Zarello. Arm ringer. And wrenching it around again, this time driving the arm across the shoulder. Garbo now breaks free and gets an arm ringer of his own. And, oh, what a move there by Troy Garba. Sweeping Zarello back with the legs, slamming him onto his back and the back of his head. Referee counting, and Zarello gets up, rolling through. And he's got an ankle lock on Troy Garbo. It's been years since I've seen him whip that one out. Hell, it might have been since the Captain Amazing days. Garbo rolls through, and Zarello ends up on his face. And now Garbo reversing. And returning the favor with an anchor lock on Zarello. And Zarello rolls through, and Garbo gets caught on the middle rope. Zarello comes charging, nobody home, and Zarello straddles that middle rope. And now Garbo taking Zarello for the ride. Driving that rope into the crotch. Could it be? Jump handle DDT. Cover by Garbo, count, and Zarello gets a shoulder up. Zarello raking the eyes of Troy Garbo and making a tag to Major Morpheus Morenzi. Garbo ducks a clothesline from Morenzi, flies at Morenzi but gets caught. 
all the way slam, but right into the DWI corner, allowing Garbo to make a tag to Chateau Banigan. Both men circling the ring now. O'Banigan charges with fists of fury right at Marenzi. Backs him off the rope. Irish whip reversed by Marenzi. Close line missed. Close line missed again. Close line by Shatter. And another one. That one might have driven the wind right out of Marenzi. Drunken elbow drop. Driving it right into the sternum. We get a cover, we get two, and Marenzi gets a shoulder up. Shut it. You shut it. I'll shut it when you will. Captain, you're not ready tonight. Oh, no, I'm good. Captain Marenzi! Are you kidding me? O'Banigan now has Marenzi up. Bringing him over to the DWI corner. Irish whip, reversed. Shatter hits in the corner. Marenzi charges and hits the corner. Nobody home. What's going on here? Zarello backing off. Chateau Banigan not taking any swings at Marenzi. That's a major mistake on his part. You want to win the gold? What are you doing, Shatter? Take a swing. Somebody take a swing. And Marenzi moves out of the way. Big time mistake there by Shatter. Wait a second. He makes up for it with the reflector, but there's a pillow in the ring. Wait a second. We get a roll up. Look at the shorts. And we get three. And we are evened up at one fall apiece. That's right. Get out of the ring. We have got this. Time one, bitch. One fall apiece. We are evened up at the next fall. Walks out of here with the WAW Team Championship. This ain't back in the day, baby. This is Dee Wee. Are they delivering? We get a DWI right. strategy You're session right now. Anyway. All right. Shatter. Shatter comes out of the DWI corner. Zarello oh, oh, goes oh, underneath and behind. We get a hammer lock now by Chateau Bay to get into a side headlock. Headlock takeover by O'Banigan on Zarello. We get a cover and we only get two. Head scissors now by Zarello. And O'Banigan rolls right through back into the side headlock into another pin. And once again, only two. Floats in one more time. Referee counts. And we only get two again. Zarello turns it around into a front face lock. And Zarello makes O'Banigan tag Garbo. Oh, and Zarello hits O'Banigan from behind. Irish whip reversed by Garbo, and Zarello hits hard. And again, Zarello hits the corner hard, courtesy of Troy Garbo. Zarello trying to fight the Irish whip. So far, twice successful, short arm reversal, arm ringer. Irish whip sends Garbo into the corner. Boot to the midsection by Garbo. He's got Zarello up. We could have new team champions. Yes, we will. Wait a second. Marenzi threw in a pillow again. We got a pillow in the ring. And Zarello was saved from the Alabama slam. Two near falls on that one. There you see the, the evidence, I guess. It's not really a foreign object. Just padding in the ring. Zarello with a rake to the eyes. Now going for the capsize. Could it be? He's got him up. Oh, capsize. He doesn't even follow it. He just dumped him off the back. We get a cover. We get a count. And Garbo kicks out. <laughs> what do we got here? Another Alabama slam attempt. He hits the Alabama slam. No pillow this time. But Garbo falls over. Throws an arm across the chest to New Oh no! I thought we had new team champions on that one. Oh god, I hurt so bad. DWI giving the champions a run for their money here tonight. To say that this has been the easiest title defense for FMJ would be a, a down, downright, outright lie. 
FMJ is being challenged here by DWI. What do we got here? Both men going off the ropes. Garbo ducks a clothesline. Zarello ducks a clothesline. Double clothesline. Wait a second. Both men have their arms draped and we get a three. What happened? This contest will be determined to be a draw. What? And still team champions. And Red Guy doing all he could do there and count the pin. Both men's shoulders were down. Thus, this match is a draw, and FMJ retains the WAW Team Championship thanks to a draw. What a jip for DWI. They should have won the belt time and time again. Shatter hit a second reflector. Garbo hit two Alabama slams. And FMJ with their pillows for protection. Save themselves numerous times and end up with a draw. Here at Apocalypse, there you see the distraught look on the faces of DWI. I can't believe it, ladies and gentlemen. I did not expect this outcome. I expected one team to walk out clear-cut victors, but this battle might have to be fought another day. Troy Garbo calling for the music to be cut. But I guess we got somebody who can't see cut signals. DWI trying and trying and trying to get the music stopped. Looks like Garbo's got something to say. Shut down! This is the biggest event of this whole summer. Yeah. In my opinion, the biggest match of our careers. Shut up. Yeah. If you feel like I do, and you want this match restarted right now, make some freaking noise. And DWI wants the match to be restarted. Are we gonna get it restart? Looks like we are. FFJ's throwing again. everything down. Yeah. Yeah. Give me that, Mike. Get ready, Chris. You want a match with the greatest team champions of all time. Is that all these fans? Yeah, yeah right. Are yeah. uh, you kidding me? You know what? Whoa, hold on. We need a little deliberation, Navarro. Start the match! Start the match! Start the match! Come on in this ring. Keep doing what you're doing, buddy. Well, and FMJ not gonna give DWI or the fans what they want. They're walking out of here with their WAW Team Championship. I mean, you, you can't blame them. They don't have to restart the match and they left with the titles and that's their ultimate goal. You can't blame FMJ for taking the victory the way that they are. But what you can blame them for is how they pretty much Screw DWI out of the WAW Team Championship here tonight at Apocalypse. But coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be our main event, a pure wrestling match for the WAW Championship. Skylar Phoenix and Todd Sopel. The main event of Apocalypse is next. 